Hello and welcome, I am Renderisa and today we are going to talk about how to use KeyScene 1.2 It's a plugin that will allow you to control your scenes with your keyboard and once you install the plugin you will see a button on your toolbar like this if you press it you will get the web dialog and here is where we are going to set which key is going to uh, activate uh, the scene that we want it to so I have a file that I'm going to share so that you guys if you want to practice you can do so and we want to navigate this it's a kind of a, like a menu system we want to navigate it with our keyboard instead of just clicking the tabs on, on, on this sketch or model okay so let's go to the first tab and the goal here is if we press enter we should go to the next scene which is this one over here that is called menu underscore one All right so to do that we go to menu and on the web dialog we find the key that we want to press which is this one enter and we type the scene that we want to go if we press that that key okay which is like we said menu underscore one then after we do that we click this button that has a plus sign on it and done that should set that scene that if we click enter you see it goes to that uh, scene that we wanted to sometimes I have to say this that you have to press the key uh, sometimes it's not that responsive I will have to see how I can solve that but it works you just have to press it uh, maybe two times the most okay so once we hit enter we go to this scene and now let's start by pressing the up and down arrow button so that we can just transition through these uh, menus the next scene will lead us to controls and we want to do that if we press down so we go to menu underscore one and on the down button we type the scene that we want to go so it's called menu underscore two and we click add okay so if we go to menu underscore two if we press down we should go to menu underscore three so we just keep doing that if we go to menu underscore three we want to go to menu underscore four and so on so it's this easy okay and let's say if we go to menu underscore five, which is the last one, if we press down, we should go to this, the beginning one, which is menu underscore one, okay? So let's do that same thing. But instead of pressing down, we want to go up, okay? So if we are on start and we press up, we should go to menu underscore five, which is the exit uh, menu. Alright, and then if we are on control and we press up, we should go to menu underscore one. And if we are in for help, if we are going to menu underscore two, and so on. Okay. So let me finish this. So right now we have it set up so that we can just transition right now I'm using the keyboards to go up and then if I press down so it's working alright now we want to uh, sign if we click enter on each of these uh, menus so let's go to the first one if we click enter we should want to go to chapter 1 which is this scene over here so let's go to menu underscore 1 and on the enter tab we click SH1 and that should set that up and if we are on control and we hit enter we should go to the scene that's named control okay so we go ahead and type that and if we are on info help we should go to info which is this scene over here I hope you're getting uh, how easy it is to set this up. Okay. Credits. All right. And 
then the last one is exit, which is this last tab over here. Okay, so for example, if I go to start and press enter, that should lead us right there. And uh, from now, you should be able to have the knowledge to do the rest of these scenes. Uh, so I will leave you with that task. If you, for example, uh, let me just give you one last example. If you want to press escape and go back to the menu underscore one, which is this one, we have that as well. So on the chapter one, we go to that scene and on escape, we click menu underscore one and we assign that. Okay, so now if I click escape, that should lead us where we want to. All right, this is it. I hope you find this useful. And again, if you have any questions on how to use the plugin, please do on, on the Sketchucation forums. I'll leave a link below for that. And also, uh, to close this up, um, one thing that is really nice is that you can save this SketchUp file, and next time that you want to use that same uh, uh, template, let's call it that, you, the, all the settings are remembered so you don't have to do this work again. Also this is nice so that you can share templates so if you have a, a particular style that you can want to share with everyone uh, I will encourage that, that will be pretty cool to see. Okay, so uh, again uh, just if you want to follow me and support me on, on YouTube you can do so, I'll leave it in all the links that I will want you to uh, visit. Alright, so see you next time.